Hey everybody, it's Chad from Six Blog. I'm Stick, and today I want to do just a quick video and just show you some new stuff I just got in the mail. Um, I recently placed an order with Z Packs uh, a little over a week ago, maybe about two weeks ago now, and uh, there's a couple items in here that I'm uh, really excited about getting. Uh, it was actually supposed to be here Friday, but just because of the busy time of uh, Christmas and shipping and everything, um, it took a couple extra days. However, uh, I'm super excited. Um, I finally got it in today, and I'm, I just wanted to share with everybody and show everybody what it is. Um, before I do that, though, I also got another item in the mail from uh, Andy from Pale Spruce. And uh, if, you'll, if you know who I'm talking about, he, uh, he was the one that supplied the uh, first aid kits that I recently gave away on my blog. Uh, and he just sent this nice little note. It says, Chad, hope you're not planning on getting lost. Have a Merry Christmas, Andy. Uh, and I appreciated Andy for uh, sending this out to me. Um, basically, it's a button compass. And then my EDC for today, of course, is still the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Um, but in his kits, what I really liked was the button compass because I didn't have one of those. A lot of places, it seems like you order one and it costs way more money than it does to ship it. Uh, than the actual compass. So, uh, thanks, Andy, for just sending out this little compass. I'm gonna add it to my little survival or my first aid kit, my Diddy bag, uh, just to have an extra little compass available. So, uh, thanks, Andy, for sending that. And then go ahead and get into my Z Pack order. Now, I'm not gonna use my knife to cut into this um, because this is well, I better not. Um, there's a bunch of Cuban fiber inside here, so I'm just going to rip into it, rather than cut into it. And there we go. Pretty sweet. Everything just fits inside a Ziploc bag. Alright, the first thing I want to talk about is this. This is a custom tarp that I asked Matt uh, to make for me. This is a 6x5 uh, six and a half foot wide and ten foot long, uh, 0.51 ounce per square yard Cuban fiber tarp. I requested him to make it in the white material because I'm a huge fan of the white Cuban fiber. Um, it should be seam sealed, uh, well, not seam sealed, but taped. Uh, it should be taped as well as sewn. Uh, it has eight perimeter tie outs, uh, standard. And then I also request it for two tie outs to be put in the center of each panel. Um, and then I also request it, they should be in the box, yeah they are. Um, but I also have four other, um, also have four other adhesive tie outs that I'm going to apply to the tarp. And uh, those are going to actually be placed underneath the tarp. Two of them are going to be placed underneath the tarp along the ridge line uh, to hold up my MLD bug bivy. And two of them are going to be placed on the outside panel. And uh, that's where my cloud kilt, which is actually the background here. Uh, my cloud kilt is going to be the back wall of the tarp whenever it's pitched in the A-frame if the weather gets bad. Um, I'll just simply attach the two ends to or the bottom side of the kilt to the bottom side of the tarp on the bottom here. Of course, the center will be attached up by the trekking pole. And then the two other corners will just lay over the top. And I'm going to attach those to the top of the tarp so that they don't blow away. Uh, but anyway, I'm super excited about this. Hey, honey, we hemming my scales. I'm going to get her to hemming my scales, and I'm going to weigh this. I'm hoping it comes in at around five, uh, around five and a half ounces. So let's just see here. Exactly five point five ounces. Sweet or 156 grams. So, uh, pretty excited about that. Anyway, take a look at the rest of the stuff. All right, I got me some more of the Cuban fiber, uh, waterproof breathable Cuban fiber rain mitts. Uh, I had a pair of these I just recently did a review on, and uh, I really like these rain mitts. The only problem I have with them is I felt like they were just a little bit short, and the thumb and the finger. Um, these feel like they're a little bit better. Actually, I asked him basically to make this area three quarters of an inch longer and this area three quarters of an inch longer um, because I felt like this V was putting too much pressure up in the thumb. So it feels like it's a little better. The big test is holding my trekking pole, and yes, it does work. 
I have just a little bit of room up there. So these are going to be awesome. And real quick, let me just throw these on the scale, see what they weigh. My first pair weighed 0 0.7 ounces. And I assume that these are going to be just a little bit heavier uh, due to the extra fabric. 0 0.9 ounces. It's going back and forth between 0 .8, 0 0.9 ounces. Alright, so they added two tenths of an ounce, but uh, I still love them. So, I've got those. Um, next, this is my Blast food bag. I requested this uh, in white, because like I said, I have, I, I really like the white Cuban fiber. But this is made out of the 1.43 ounce per square yard Cuban fiber. Uh, and it's basically a roll top uh, food bag. I already had the uh, cinch top food bag. And uh, actually though, this is not what I expected. Huh. I guess they've changed the design on the food bags because the other food bag I had actually had a pleated bottom on it. Whereas this is just an envelope, envelope style food bag. All right. I'm gonna check into that because I would prefer, that's gonna change things. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this now. But uh, I would prefer the food food bag like I had, the rectangular shaped food bag with the pleated bottom. It was like a, a paper bag you would get from a grocery store, except it had the cinch top on it. So let me just go ahead and weigh this and see. It's 1.4, it's going back between 1.4 and 1.5 ounces. However, it does have a little carabiner on it, so I'm just going to say it's 1.4 ounces, which is what it's listed on the website. And then last, there's just a couple of things here that I have. Uh, one is the, uh, the toothbrush kit. It was time for me to get a new toothbrush. I've been using the other one for a while. Um, just go ahead and weigh it. 0 0.7 ounces for everything. And that's awesome. A little bit of tube of toothpaste. And then the toothbrush, which uh, connects together. So that's pretty cool. And that was only three bucks. It's not a bad deal. I thought that's pretty cool. And let's see, like I said, here are the tie outs. Um, I knew that these were going to be in black, and I was actually thinking to myself I should ask for them to be in white, uh, but I didn't. Uh, one thing I'm going to do before I apply these is I'm actually going to trim the corners of these so that they'll be rounded. Um, just so that they'll be less likely to start peeling up at the corners. Because if you round a patch whenever you apply it, it's going to be less likely to start peeling at the corners. So that's one thing I will do before I actually apply these. And then I just have some more Aquamira. Um, I'm going to repackage these in some uh, bottles that I got from Jara at Light Trail. Um, I have the Part A and Part B bottle, and then I have the little black mixing bottle. I wish I would have thought about it. I would have had those out to show you. Um, but anyway, that's everything I ordered. Uh, super excited about it. This is just my tracking or my uh, receipt here. I'm super excited. I'm fixing to take my tarp outside and set it up and see how it works out and what I think about it. Um, uh, like I said, though, I am going to get in touch with him and ask him about this because this is not what I was expecting. Uh, but to be fair, I may not have read the. Uh, I may not have read it. I may have just assumed that since my other blast food bag. Uh, was that shape that this one will be the same so anyway guys i appreciate you watching uh i'm definitely going to do some more videos and stuff of this after i use it a little more uh namely the tarp because um, i've already got videos on the mitts and i uh, assume that these are going to be relatively the same and i will of course follow up with uh the food bag thing but anyway guys i appreciate you watching and i'll see you next time